Okay, my recording kind of crapped out, but after, I don't know if the end of the, my video, the outpost two forks got vandalized, they threw my typewriter out the window, they stole my sheets, and then the power communications went down, just me and Delilah could talk, so I went out, I found the wires that were cut, there were signs of vandalism there too. And now I'm headed out to find who we think. We think the teens are the ones responsible. So, we're, they, she, Delilah had me sent out to find their new camp. And I just found a little bit of smoke. So, I plan on investigating that. And that's all that was missed. I am sorry. I was a dumb dumb. And I messed everything up. I see a really thin plume of smoke. Yeah, I see it too. A thin plume like this is either a new fire or a campfire. Campfire? Y you think it's them? I reckon so. It looks like it's to the southwest of me. That's right. If you hike towards Five Mile Creek, that should put you in the neighborhood. Keep an eye on that smoke plume. Let me know if it's getting any larger. Will do. Well, where'd it go? Did your wife's illness have anything to do with you taking this job, or did you just fall prey to the service's big recruiting push? When it comes to, you know, how the hell you ended up out here? I saw the job in the paper and figured, you know, what the heck. What the heck? I've got no ties and no life. Better go spend what's left of it in utter loneliness. <laughs> Something like that? Now, thanks to last summer, the bump in Forest Service budget actually allowed for us to advertise for the job. Glad it worked. What happened last summer that accounted for this, um, windfall? Jeez. I mean, the federal government almost let Yellowstone National Park burn to the ground? Ring a bell? Yellowstone is, like, what, 15 miles away? Why would they do that? Well, the short story is that for 60 years, we got very good at not letting forest fires happen. And then about 15 years ago, they decided that forest fires in wilderness areas like Yellowstone should be left to burn. So that's what they did. I can't believe you didn't hear about this. There were reports that the entire park was gone. Dan Rather telling the country that President Reagan didn't care on the nightly news. I and mean, what the hell's he gonna do? Smoke jump in and snuff one out for the giver? So what should they have done? I don't even know. By the time the Yellowstone folks realized the little fires weren't gonna burn themselves out, a hundred thousand acres were gone. It's Yellowstone, you know? People don't want to touch it. But we touch it every single day. But hey, I got a 30 cents an hour raise because we can't have another fiasco. If the goddamn park can burn down again. Onward! Is that smoke? Okay. Probably need to be up top so I can cross that. Maybe not.
pine cones. Boy, for as dry as it is this summer, there's an area down here that's uh, lush. Oh, you must be talking about the Aspen Grove down there. Yeah, I think that's where I am. Those trees are actually one root organism. Did you know that? I didn't. Yeah, they share their water as a colony that can live for hundreds of years, even through fire. Can you believe you're actually getting paid to learn all of these amazing things? Also, uh, by what it looks like on this map, you'll be coming up on a stream that should lead you towards where we saw that smoke. Okay, that's helpful. It's a really nice waterfall down here. Given those girls love a skinny dipping, I bet they're nearby. back to the stream. Out of the way, plants. Uh, there's some cloth out here. It looks like it was torn from something. Strange. I'll keep looking around. evidence found the campsite it doesn't look good here uh some of their clothes are all torn up and they're not there yeah and the thing is their entire campsite is wrecked what happened uh, 
I have no idea. It's pretty bad. Well, just look around. Make sure they weren't, you know, injured or... Uh, murdered? <sighs> they weren't murdered. Oh, do you remember when I came out here to quietly look for fires? They weren't. Just look around. Actually, you've got that camera, right? It might be a good idea to get a few snaps, just in case. Yeah, good thinking. Good thing I have a couple things left. Pictures. That's it. Hey, I got a trophy for that. It looks like someone left a note. Intriguing. Maybe you should read it. Okay, yeah. Let me know what it says. Dear Psycho, I hope you're fucking happy. We're leaving, and we're going to find the police or whatever and tell them about you. Creeped on us in the lake. And then came and destroyed our campsite and all of our stuff. Oh, and stealing panties is gross out. You're probably mentally fucking axe murderer. And are so going to jail. I hope it was worth being a jerk over some fireworks dick. Oh no, I should probably keep that. Oh, they're gone for sure. Well, what's it say? Threatening to call the police because they think I attacked them. Oh my god, well, uh, did you? or do anything that could be perceived as an attack to these campers. No, well, hey, I didn't do this. Okay, someone or something went to town here, but it wasn't me. Because I told you to scare them, not assault them. Yeah, I took their whiskey back at the lake, but that just felt like, I don't know, the cost of doing business. That's different, okay? And I don't blame you. This is, I don't know, weird as hell, but it wasn't me. It's, it's okay. I believe you. Weird stuff happens in the woods. It could be other campers. They could be having a bad mushroom trip. We really don't know, but they're gone. There's no way to call the cops. They're not coming back, and we can get to work. I'd really like to start enjoying a quiet summer. Day three. Downstairs to patch window. Hey, Henry? Yeah. Um, what do you look like? Why are you asking? Because I'm horribly superficial. Do you know Raleigh Fingers? He pitched for the A's? No. Well, I'm the spitting image of him. Is he the guy with the snidely whiplash thing going on from, from the 70s? <gasps> Ooh, my dad loved him. Yeah, that's him. That mustache. Mm. Now you have my attention. Arr! Okay. Okay, well, that gives me a good start. Now let's see. In my scope, I can only tell you're a white guy wearing shorts. It's hot. 
And maybe, by the way, I'm not white. It's not very, uh, you know, PC or whatever they say. Oh my god, you are the whitest man. Wow. I don't need a spotting scope for that. And if not shorts, then what do you normally like to wear? Tuxedos, as often as possible. Oh, really? You bet. How cosmopolitan. I didn't realize Boulder was so chic. It is the peak of high society. Mm, good to know, Dale, yes. Now tell me about your face. I'm looking at you across the bar. What do I see? Uh... Well, I have a thin mustache, real thin mustache. I got a, a long scar, goes down across my eye and down my cheek. And you only wear tuxes? Yeah. Hmm. Are you a freaking Bond villain? I, uh, I, I get up to some stuff, yeah. I don't think you're taking this very seriously. I want to know about your eyes. Get out of here. I'm drawing you. I need to know. Your what? Is that okay? Uh... Don't... Don't answer. I'm gonna do it regardless. Fine. Your eyes. Tell me. Uh, they're happy, I think. I mean, I've been told they look happy. Julia told you that, huh? Look, I don't know how to describe eyes. Happy is good. That's good. Okay, got it. Thank you, Henry. You get what you need? Absolutely. I got that window all patched up. So what should I do now? What's next? What's next? What do you think is next? Well, you've been the one giving me tasks for two days straight. What's next is you sit in that room until September 1st and call me at the first sign of smoke. Oh, yeah. Why don't you let me know when you're mentally prepared for that task and, uh, I'll give it to you. Okay, I think I am ready to tackle my long-term commitment of keeping this national forest safe from total destruction. I am glad to hear you've really thought this through. Of course. We've issued you a comfy chair to sit in and everything. You know, it's not really that comfy. I mean, it's wooden and there's no padding. I think I actually got a splinter in my thigh this morning. Aww. Well, regardless, take a seat. The forest depends on you. Day nine. afternoon not too bad I could get used to it out here that's nice look um, I called with bad news two young women Chelsea Stevens and Lily McLean were reported missing they've got parents out in California who haven't heard from them in a week they were supposed to meet an aunt down in Cody if they're the girls from last week then you're probably the last person to have seen him. I didn't do anything to them. What about their camp? That wasn't me. You know that. Don't get defensive. Look, it's not gonna be an issue. Uh, I mean, if, if they turn up dead, then maybe. Should I just not say anything and save us the trouble? Yeah, don't. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. All right, Henry, thanks. Enjoy the sunset. Well, that was a quick day.
bed and pick up the radio. What do you want? Hey, you big dumb idiot. Hi, Jules. Oh, you sound tired. Hmm, I am. Are you having a nice time? Sure. Are you? Everything good there? Jules? What? Oh, sorry, Henry. Yeah, I'm good. Well, that's good. Well, I'll let you get back to sleep then. Mm, okay, Jules. Delilah seems nice. Mm-hmm, sure. Bye, baby. Is it too much of a pain in the ass to bring supplies all the way up to our towers? Well, I get my stuff hand-delivered. Oh, how's that work? It's the perks of a decade of service. You're out hiking in 90-degree heat, and I get to do crosswords. Isn't life miserably unfair? Anyway, when you find the supply drop, remember it's not just for you, okay? Other lookouts, biologists, a few people get their food there, and I don't want to have to call in for more. There should be loads of good stuff, though. Beans, prunes, jerky. You know, my sister eats six prunes a day. Six. She's, like, really precise about it. She'd be great at this job if she didn't need wheelbarrows full of marijuana to function. Okay, that'll be the end of this one. I'll be back so, later. So, like, Wait. two weeks ago, you called me in the middle of the night? You were sleeping, I guess, and... All I heard was the name Jules through the mumbles. I just thought it was so sweet. I wanted to wake you up, but then I thought maybe you were having a nice conversation and I'd just be spoiling it. I hope you're doing okay, you know, when it comes to her. I am. Good. I'm glad. Oh, uh, look. So, a couple of months before I took this job, I... <laughs> I was with this guy, Javier. Ugh, he's incredible, caring, sexy as hell. He was a driller down in Casper. We dated for almost five years. I was working with the Wyoming Outdoor Leadership School, and I was obsessed with it. I wanted to be an instructor so badly. And I was sure I was going to marry Javier as soon as I could be bothered. Walls was also a good excuse to get out of town, drink whiskey in the mountains, cut loose. <sighs> then, um, Javier's brother got killed working in Gillette. And for some reason, I didn't come home. Javier said it was fine. He'd go to the funeral, take care of his mom, stuff like that. It'd be easier solo. When he came back, he left me. I came out here, I lied, and told my sister he fucked our neighbor. I've just lied about it for over ten years. And, uh, for some reason, I wanted you to know. Uh, I figured you've told me so much about you, so, you know, there's something about me. We both fucked up. Okay, now it's over.